Tonight, a Chesterfield family is demanding justice be served after a teen says he suffered an alleged hate crime in 2020. Now, he says a Confederate flag was draped over him and racial slurs were written on his head while he was at a party in Powhatan. 8 News reporter Nicole Dantzler attended the family's rally today. She's live in our digital center tonight. And Nicole, what did this family say? Autumn, that teen Jerry Chambers Jr. says he wants the people who committed this alleged hate crime to be brought to justice. The community today saying they won't stop until that justice is served. A community is fed up with the way law enforcement has handled a teen's alleged hate crime. This is wrong. The Chambers family held a rally in Richmond today, demanding for whoever is responsible to be brought to justice. To the people, the animals that did this, they already outliving their life. In September 2020, Jerry Chambers Jr. attended a party in Powhatan. He says some people wrote racial slurs on his head with a Sharpie. They also put a Confederate flag and other items on his body. Police say Chambers was intoxicated and unconscious when this happened. Chambers says the trauma led him to try and take his own life. I was in the ICU for days not having the strength to even get up and walk. Pictures of the incident were posted on social media and Chambers parents went to law enforcement. But over a year and a half later, they say nothing has been done to be a father and not be able to do something about what they did to my son. I don't it's no words. The Chesterfield Police Department and the Powhatan Sheriff's Office tells 8 News that at the time, the family either didn't want the incident to be investigated or they weren't sure about filing a report. However, the Chambers family says they brought all necessary evidence to law enforcement and waited for them to move forward. Being a victim of a hate crime definitely scars you for life. Chambers says he's been in therapy since the incident. The FBI has been investigating the alleged hate crime since earlier this year. And starting last week, the Petersburg Commonwealth Attorney's Office has been investigating the incident as well. Live in a digital center, Nicole Dantzler, 8 News.